Okay, let's do um, this particular problem. It's actually a two-part problem. Um, it's actually a titration problem and a buffer problem. So um, the first part says um, calculate the pH of a 0 0.20 molar ammonia slash 0 0.20 molar ammonium chloride buffer. And then the second part says, what is the pH of the buffer after the addition of 10 mils of 0 0.1 molar HCl to 65 mils of the buffer? Okay, so let's do the first part first. Um, the cool thing about this is that uh, we have um, talked about the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation already, so we can actually use that, okay? So what is the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation? The pH equals the pKa plus the log of the concentration of conjugate base over the concentration of the weak acid, like that. Okay? So um, that's nice because we've got the concentration of both of those things and we've got the Ka. So remember, the pKa is going to be the negative log of the Ka. So that's going to be negative log of 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So let's do that together. So when I do that, I get 9.25 as the uh, pKa. Okay, so we have pKa, we have concentration, concentration, right? This, we can already see, is going to be 0.2 over 0.2, right? So 0.2 divided by 0.2, that's going to be 1. The log of 1 is 0, okay? So this one's nice because it tells you, well, um, at the, the concentration or the point when you have the concentration of the conjugate acid and conjugate base being the same, the pH is equivalent to the pKa of the weak acid, okay? So let's just do it together. So the pH is, or the pKa is 9.25 plus the log of 0.20 divided by 0 0.20, so 9.25 plus the log of 1, okay, so the log of 1 is 0, so the pH in the first part is going to equal 9.25, okay, and you would expect that because um, uh, the Ka is much smaller, the Ka of ammonium ion is much smaller than the Kb of the, of the molecule ammonia. So you would expect this to be a basic solution. Okay? So the second part asks us to add um, some HCl to this. Okay? So we're going to make this very basic solution a little bit more acidic. Okay? That makes sense, right? Off the bat, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is erase some of this stuff um, that we figured out. Okay, so, so we got that one for the first part. Yeah. So I'll put that up here. So the initial pH, nine point two five. Okay, so now it wants to know, well, what's the pH after the addition of 10 mils of 0.10 HCl? So the concentration of HCl, remember, HCl goes um, all the way to hydrogen ions. So concentration of HCl is going to be the same as the concentration of H plus in order to, 
just think about that, right? When we it's a forward arrow there, a strong acid, right? So we get um, H3O plus plus Cl minus aqueous. Okay. So what do we have? A one to one ratio of those two things. So why don't we just erase this and put H3O plus, like that. Is that okay? If we do that? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, okay, wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to erase this part here. And they gave us uh, the volume of the buffer is 65.0 mils, and the volume of the HCl was 10.0 uh, mils that we added to it. Okay, so in order to figure this equation out, we're going to, ha or this problem out, we're going to have to figure out, well, how many moles of a H3O plus did we make, okay? So remember, the volume of HCl and the volume of H3O plus are going to be the same, okay? So, um, what's the number of moles of H3O plus that we have? Well, 0.1 molar, right? That means moles of H3O plus per one liter of solution, okay? So we're going to multiply that by well, one liter per 1,000 mils times, well, how many mils do we have? 10.0 mils of the H3O plus, okay? So when we do that, liters cancel with liters, mils cancel with mils, okay? So we should get, if I'm calculating in my head right, 1.0, oh, sorry, 1.0, times 10 to the negative 3 um, moles of H3O plus, like that, okay? So calculate it, make sure I did it right. Okay, so we're now also going to have to calculate, well, what was the number of moles of each of these that we started with, okay? So number of moles of ammonia, is going to be 0 0.20 moles of ammonia per one liter of solution. And we'll do the same thing, one liter, 1,000 mils times 65.0 mils. Cancel, 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 cancel. And what do we get? Oh, I can't do that one in my head. So, 0.2 times 65 divided by 1,000, of course, is 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2, right? 10 to the negative 2 moles of ammonia. Okay? The number of moles of the ammonium ion. is going to be the same, right? Because it's 0.2 divided by 1,000 times 65, okay? So we're just gonna forego doing all that and say 1.3 times 10 to the negative two moles of the ammonium ion two, okay? So in fact, what I would do now, since I know this is times 10 to the negative two, I'm going to change this to 10 to the negative 2 as well, because it will make my ice table a lot easier, okay? So um, if I want to change this to 10 to the negative 2, that's going to be, instead of 1, it's going to be 0 0.10, like that, okay? Or 1, whatever you want, 0 0.1. Okay, so are you set with what we've done here so far? Okay. So now... 
what we're going to do is um, think about some ice tables, okay? So if we have ammonia in solution and we add H3O plus to that solution, okay? It's going to react like that, okay? And we're going to get um, some NH4 plus some ammonium ion plus H2O, like that. Okay? So, let's do an ice table. Like that. Follow what we're doing? Okay, wonderful. So, ammonia, what was my initial concentration, or my initial number of moles, sorry? 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2. Initial concentration of the ammonium ion, the same thing, right? So in the first problem, we didn't have any of this to start out with, right? But this time, we've added some. So, what, how much did we add? 0.1 times 10 to the negative 2, right? Zero point, whoops. So 0 0.1 times 10 to the negative 2. So that's going to react completely, right, with the ammonia here. So it's going to be minus 0 0.1 times 10 to the negative 2. Why? Because that number is smaller than that, num that number. So it's all going to react. So at the end, we're not going to have any. Okay? So this is going to be minus 0 0.1 times 10 to the negative 2 as well. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So here we're going to get 1.2 times 10 to the negative 2. Right? Yeah. And here, well... If we subtract it all here, right, what's going to happen here? Right. Add it, right? So plus 0 0.1 times 10 to the negative 2. So what are we going to have down here? 1.4 times 10 to the negative 2. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So those are the no new number of moles that we have of these two substances. Okay. So what I'm going to do is erase all of this stuff and just write down those new number of moles, okay? Is that all right? Can I erase all this? Okay. Okay. We don't have any moles of uh, hydronium anymore. Only the moles of the other two matter. So moles of ammonia, we've got 1.2 times 10 to the negative 2 moles. Um, and the moles of the ammonium ion, 1.4 times 10 to the negative 2 moles. Okay? And I'll put ammonia up there. Ammonium ion there. Okay? But we, if we're trying to use this equation here, we need concentration values, right? Not mole or not number of moles. Number of moles. Okay. So how do we get concentration values? Well, we have to know the volume that we're using, right? So the volume is going to be the volume of the acid added plus the volume of the buffer original, right? So V total is going to equal volume of H3O plus or HCl, whatever if you still got that written down. Uh, volume of buffer, so 10.0 mils plus 65.0 mils, like that. So that's going to be 75.0 mils, right? But we want it in liters. Concentrations. 
So top one, the concentration is 0 0.16 molar to 2 sig figs ammonia. Remember that's A, A minus in this equation, that's where we're going with this, okay? So this one here, do the same thing, 1.4, negative 2, divided by 0.2, and this one I get, well, to 2 sig figs, but I'll I'll keep those digits um, when I do the next calculation. 1.9 molar ammonia. Okay. So if you just stick 1.9 in here, your number might be a tiny bit different. Because okay. I'm going to do that 1.8666, whatever. Okay, so we have this, this, and pK, right? So we should be able to figure out what our pH is. So let's do it. So pH equals pKa, which is 9.25, plus the log of A minus, which is 0 0.16, divided by 0 0.19, like that. And so 0.16 divided by that answer. We're going to take the log of that answer, and we're going to add that to 9.25. And like I said, we should expect, since we added HCl to this, that our pH would go down, right? And in fact, it does, in my calculation, 9.18 is my new pH. Okay? Make sense how to do that? Yeah. These are actually just the first two steps of a titration calculation. So, question?